now we shall do some questions so let's say we have a k map of four variables and remember that the variable names here a b and c d on the other side so the numbers will be writing like this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 this is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 if you have any confusion any time you may check like this so if you write a b c d so it should be 1 1 1 so what where is 15 this is 15 so this is 1 1 1 1 so this is how you can check also so let's say one more example a bar b bar c d which is 0 0 1 1 that should be 3 okay so here 0 0 is here and c d 1 1 is here so here we have 3 so you can check like this also okay now in this question given thing is we have ones on the the on these places the min terms are given on these places and we have to find the minimal expression for this given k map so what we have to do first is we have to draw the subcubes so first subcube can be like this this can be one subcube this can be one subcube this is one subcube now if you see this this can also be one subcube why because this one is not part of any other subcube this can also be one subcube this can also be one subcube and here we can make this one as also a subcube because these are not completely part of any other subcube so if somebody asks you how many prime implicants are here so you can count so let's say uh, this one as a this one as b this one as c this is d this one as e f let's say this one as g this as h so how many we have one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight prime implicants here how many are essential actually there is no essential prime implicants why because there is no subcube here which is exclusively covering one so everyone is covered by one uh, two or more subcubes okay so number of essential prime implicants here is zero now i would like to tell you one method which is called branching method yes in last lecture we have studied about a table creation so let us try to create a table of it instead of making the minimal expression directly we shall use the branching method now today so branching method is nothing new but uh, we have studied in last class only we are doing the question on it so here on this column we will write all the prime implicants a b c d e f g and h so we have written all prime implicants and on this row we have to write all the min terms covered so here we have covered 0 so you can see here 0 is covered 1 is covered here 5 is covered 7 is covered so I am I shall write here 0 1 5 7 8 is covered and then 14 and 15 so wherever we have min terms we have written 1 anything is left yes so 10 is left so so I shall write 10 and 14 like this so this is what we have now after doing this we have to mark where what all min terms are covered by a this is how we make the chart so a is this particular subcube this particular subcube is a and it is covering 8 and 10 so what we will do is we will mark 1 and 1 on each of these min term this is 8 and 10 okay so let me divide the table so that you can see clearly 
where we are writing what okay now let's see this b this b is covering 8 as well as it is covering 0 so i shall write 1 and 1 on 0 and 8 this c is covering 14 and 10 so 14 and 10 this is how we can complete the table so what you have to do is you have to complete the table on your own and check what we have done so now we have got this table you may check that this is the table you have got now what we have to do is we have to take which of these uh, prime implicants first in last lecture what uh, the table we had made we have asked you to take the essential prime implicants first but here you can see that there is no essential prime implicants how to identify a essential prime implicant if you have a column which is have only one 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 occurrence of one so that will be prime uh, essential prime implicant unfortunately none of the column which is 0 1 or 5 or 7 or 8 or 10 or 15 or 14 no column has only one occurrence of one or oh, they have either two or more so there is no essential prime implicants here so we can take any of these at first so let me take let me begin with a so i shall start with a so i have taken a at first now what all terms are covered by a 8 and 10 is covered so i shall remove this now okay and 8 is covered by and 10 is covered so what all things are covered by 8 and 10 so if i take 8 so this b is already covered this one is also covered by a okay now see this if i remove b also then what will happen this one is getting eliminated but this is covered by h so no need to worry this can be covered by h so i can remove b without having any problem because if i am worrying about this one so this is already covered by a if i am worrying about this one then we can cover it by h so i can remove b also and i can remove these columns also because this one is already covered so i don't need to care about it okay now a and b so what i can do is i have taken a and eliminated b by using a okay now c what next c c can also be eliminated because this one is already is can also be covered by d so if i remove d c also then also there is no problem because this one is cover, already covered by this and this one can be covered by this so i will take this and not c because if i take c so this thing will get duplicated whereas if i take d it will cover one more min term okay i will take d next and remove c so by taking a only i can eliminate b and c now i can take d why because d is if i remove this one so d is having one on this 14th column on 14th mintum column d is the only possible variable which is covering 14th so d is covered here now if i have covered something by d so 14 and 15 are already covered so i can remove this and i can remove e also why because if i have covered 14 and 15 then this is already covered and if i am worrying about this i can cover it by f why i am not covering e and instead of f because f is additionally covering this thing which is not covered by anyone else this can be covered by g also but g let me uh, just remove the e first so e is this one is already covered by d and i can cover this one by f so i can safely remove e now see this uh, we have left with 0 1 5 and 7 and these are already covered so now let's say out of f g and h what all we have to take if i take h now let me uh, first take h because 0 and 1 we have to cover so h can cover 0 and 1 so 0 and 1 can be covered by h i have taken h now so h is covered and when i have covered h 
this thing this can also be covered by it this can so i can safely remove g because if i am worrying about this one this can also be covered by f okay so the g can be safely removed now if i have to cover 5 and 7 and 5 and 7 can be covered by f so this four terms are the minimal possible solution by this k map okay and from this also you can see that if i remove these things if i have to cover all the ones so what i can do is i can cover it by like this so this is one uh, prime implicant this is one this is one and this is one i can name it as a b c and d so this is a plus b plus c plus d which is four min terms and here also we have four min terms this is just the names are different but these are four min terms which are possible and which can be covered uh, which can cover all the ones and give us the minimal expression let us see one more example of the same question let's say this is the question we have given to us and now we have to find the minimal expression for this so before going through the chart method we can draw all the subcubes possible here what are the subcubes possible one subcube possible is this one is this and one is this so by using only three subcubes all ones are covered so the minimal expression will have only three min terms okay whereas there are more number of prime implicants so this one prime implicant is possible because this red color subcube is not completely covered by some other subcube so this is also one prime implicant this can also be one prime implicant because this uh, new prime implicant let's say let us call it as c so we have uh, this c prime implicant which is not completely covered by something else i can make one more prime implicant like this let me call it as a and this is also not covered completely covered by something else so these all prime implicants are possible so let us name them a b c this one is d let's say this is e and this one as f so now if i know that this is a b plus c a b a plus b plus c which will have the minimal expression let us prove it by chart method also i would urge you to draw the chart yourself first and then proceed so how do we make the chart we have to make all the prime implicants we have to write the prime implicants here what all prime implicants we have a b c d e and f these all prime implicants we have we are dividing the table so what are all min terms covered 0 2 3 4 5 and 7 these are the min terms which are covered okay so now we have a which is covering 4 and 0 so 0 and 4 are marked we have b which is covering 4 and 5 so 4 and 5 are marked now we have c which is covering 7 and 5 so 5 and 7 are marked d is covering 3 and 7 so 3 and 7 are marked similarly e is covering 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 are marked and f is covering 0 and 2 so 0 and 2 are marked so here also in this table you can see that there is no column which is having only one occurrence of one so there is no uh, essential prime implicant here so what we have to do is we can take any we can take any of these prime implicant first let me start with a so if i take a 0 is covered 4 is covered i can safely remove a and wherever 0 and 4 are covered i can remove them also wherever 0 and 4 are covered i can remove then them also okay so now if i have removed these columns and rows so i have removed this one this one and this one so after removing this this one is already covered by e okay so 
why should I have F if it is already covered by E? I can remove that. This one is can be covered by C also. So this uh, why should I have the duplicate value? I can remove B also. By taking A only, I have removed B. I have removed F. Now from C, D and E, I have to choose one. Now C, this column after removing B, this column is having exclusive one. This is having only one occurrence of one. So this is essential now. Earlier it was not essential, but now it become essential. So I will take C and you can see that after taking C, that 5 and 7 are covered. So I can safely remove this one. I can remove this and this. Now you can see that in D part, this thing is duplicate because this can be covered by E also. So I can safely remove D also. And what we have left with is E. So E is a essential prime implicant now, which was not earlier because this is having only one occurrence of one in column number three. So how many prime, uh, how many min terms we got in minimal expression? Three. Here also we had three and now we are three prime implicant. Uh, three minimal expression, three min terms possible. So this is how you can make charts. Okay. So if uh, there is question which require chart compulsorily, only then go for chart. Otherwise, we can take the minimal expression by using K map also directly. Okay. Let's see more questions. So one question is, let's say we have this question now. Let's say this is the question given to us. What min term we can add to make the following given function a self dual or neutral function? So just to remind you that what was the neutral function in which we have equal number of ones and zeros. For example, let's say we have a and b as the variables and 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. These are the possible values and output is 0, 0, 1, 1. So it is having two ones and two zeros. If you have equal number of zeros and ones in the output, then that is a neutral function or self-dual. Okay. So now in this function, we have been asked to tell what min terms we can add in order to make it self dual. So let me give you some brief theory about it. How to make a function a self dual. So for a function to be self dual, one value that is one min term out of their group can be present. Both min term of a group is not allowed. So what is a group? Let, let us understand. So if you have three variable function, so group can be 0, 7. So for three variables, how many possible values are there? How many possible min terms are there? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So what we have done is we have, we have to make groups. 0, 7 will make one group. 1, 6 will make one group. 2, 5 will make one group. 3, 4 will make one group. After that, they are repeated. So 0, 7, 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4. So what we have to do is if in a function 0 is available, then 7 cannot be. If 1 is available, 6 cannot be. If 5 is available, 2 should not be. If 3 is available, 4 is not should not available. If both the values are available in a function, then its self-dual is not possible. So now we have a function of 4 variables. So now what are the possible values for 4 variables? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So what are the groups possible? 0, 15, 1, 14, 2, 13, 3, 12, 4, 11, 5, 10, 6, 9 and 7, 8. So these are the groups possible. Now let us write them 0, 15, 1, 14, 2, 13, 3, 12, 4, 11, 5, 10, 
six, nine, seven, eight. So these are the groups possible. Now, if you take eight comma seven, then this is this group and that eight comma seven is same. So these are the groups possible. So now let let us see what is the function given to us. This is the function given to us. Let me write this function again here. So the function given to us of four variables is this. So in order to find what all min terms we can add to make it a self dual, first of all we have to write this given function into a canonical sum of product form. So this is sum of product form, but not canonical. So what we have to do is we have to first make it into a canonical sum of product form. How to make it? So we have here instead of this we have a b. C D. So what we have to make here D is not present. So in order to make D present, what we can add is D into D bar. Here what we have is A. What we have is A C and D plus this is B and D. Now what we have is A bar B C D plus D bar. Here B is not present. So write it b plus b bar which is one only and cd here a is not present so a plus a bar b c is not present so c plus c bar d expand it more a bar b c d plus a bar b c d bar plus a b c d plus a b bar c d and now this a b c d now a b c bar d now taking a bar b c d and lastly a bar b c bar d so these all terms we have got now see which of the term is repeated remove them so this a b c d and a b c d is repeated so 1 plus 1 is 1 in only in boolean expression so we can safely remove it what else is there any other thing which is repeated yes so see this one this one and this one is repetitive so you can remove one out of this okay now see this what is this 0 1 1 1 so in sop form we have remember i am telling you n number of times so in sop form a bar is 0 and a is 1 so this is 0 1 1 this is 0 1 1 0 this is 1 1 1 this is 1 0 1 1 this is 1 1 0 1 and this one is 0 1 0 1 okay so what is this 7 this is 6 this is 15 this one is 8 plus 3 is 11 this one is 13 and lastly this one is 5 so now see that which all terms we have we have 7 6 so what all groups it is covering this is covering 7 6 15 11 15 11 13 and 5 13 and 5 so there is no group which is having both the values available in this function so if this function will have let's say it was having 10 also so 5 and 10 both are available which is which belongs to same group 5 and 10 so we can say that self dual of this function is not possible but fortunately this 10 is not available here what we have is these all functions are available this one is left out this one is left out so two groups are left out so now 1 14 3 and 12 two groups are left out so what we can do is we can add 1 and 3 so we can add 1 comma 3 or we can add 1 and 12 1 comma 12 or we can add 14 or 3 14 comma 3 or we can add 14 and 12 14 and 12 so this 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 or this these uh, groups 
these values can be added as min terms in order to make this function as self dual and you can find the values like this in the option so one is 0 0 0 1 and 3 is 0 0 1 1 so what is this a bar b bar c bar d what is this a bar b bar c d so this and this as option a so this will be the answer if not this one then this one is available which is 0 0 0 1 and what is 12 1 1 0 0 so this is a bar b bar c bar d and this one is a b c bar d bar so you can have this as an option so this will be the answer or this may be answer or this may be the answer this is how we can find out how to make a function as self dual or neutral function let's see one more question now so we have been asked to find out how many functions in f1 dot f2 and f1 plus f2 will represent if f1 is this and f2 is this so remember this is nothing but uh, don't care conditions only so instead of writing only phi we are writing sigma phi this is nothing but don't care conditions only so how to make it by using truth table so we have three values which is a b and c so instead of writing zero in form of binary i am writing directly into form of decimals here what are the min terms possible for three variables 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so till 7 are the min terms possible okay what is f1 what is f2 see what is f1 f1 is true whenever we have 0 2 and 4 so let me divide the table first so what we have is f1 as 0 2 and 4 whenever they are true we are writing 1 so 0 2 and 4 and what are the possible values for don't care 3 5 and 7 so 3 is don't care, 5 is don't care and 7 is don't care. What else we have remaining with is not true. So this is not in true value, this is not in uh, don't care condition which are blank. Now we can assume them as zeros. Okay, this is how we will write F1. Similarly, try to write it for F2 and check it here again. So for F2 we have 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 as true and 1 say 1 6 and 7 as don't care conditions so 1 6 and 7 as don't care conditions and whatever is remaining is 0 so this is what we have got now how to fill this f1 dot f2 so clearly 1 0 is 0 and anything don't care means you can assume 0 or 1 but if I assume 0 or 1 anything whenever it is multiplied by 0 it will give me 0 only 1 dot 1 is 1 now 1 will multiply it if I assume it 0 it will give 0 if I assume it 1 it will give 1 so the answer depends on don't care okay so what the there is uncertainty so we will write it as don't care 1 0 is 0 here whatever the value of this don't care can be 0 or 1 whenever it is multiplied by 0 it will give 0 only 0 multiplied by anything 0 or 1 it will give 0 only and if we have here 1 and 1 this can be 1 this can be 1 we can have answer as 1 otherwise it can have answer as 0 so both things are possible so it is don't care similarly for f1 and f2 so f1 1 whatever the value of f2 doesn't matter 1 plus 0 is 1 only here 0 and don't care if we have a value of don't care as 1 so 0 plus 1 will give us 1 otherwise it will give us 0 so here we will have don't care because 0 or 1 both the results are possible 1 plus 1 is 1 don't care with 1 so here if we have value as 0 or 1 doesn't matter it will be added with 1 and give as as 1 only here 1 plus 0 is 1 here don't care with 0 
Now answer depends on this don't care. If it is 1, answer is 1. If it is 0, answer is 0. So here we have don't care. 0 added with don't care will give us don't care as same as this thing. And don't care added with don't care will give us don't care because here if we have 0 and here we have 0 answer is 0. If we have 1 here and 0 here answer can be 1. So answer can be both 0 or 1. So if we have made this table correctly now see we have seen that how many functions are possible if we have k don't care conditions the number of functions possible is 2 to the power k. k don't care conditions. Okay, so for f1 dot f2, we have 1 don't care and 2 don't care. So, k equal to 2. So, how many functions are possible? So, answer is 2 to the power 2, which is 4. And for f1 and f2, how many k is possible? How many k is allowed? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, k is 4. So, answer is 2 to the power 4, which is 2 to the power k, which is 16 okay so here 16 functions are possible this was the question how many function does f1 and f1 plus f2 f1 dot f2 and f1 plus f2 represent so this will represent 4 and this will represent 16 okay let's see one more question on this so we have to find out the number of functions in f1 dot f2 and f1 plus f2 again so the same method will be applicable so instead of having three variables we have four variables now how many possible min terms in four variables 0 to 15 I'll draw the table and come back again to find out the answer so we are making table 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so this is the table we have so this is the table we have we have to find for each of this so let's say it will have this and this now we have to find this now in f1 whenever we have 1 3 4 5 9 10 11 the values are 1 so let us mark it first 1 3 4 5 9 10 11 so these are the values as 1 and for 6 and 8 we have don't care 6 8 don't care 8 don't care and all the other places it have zeros so whichever it is blank we will mark it as 0 now okay so what is for f2 0 2 4 0 2 4 7 8 and 15 are 1 9 and 12 are don't care 9 and 12 are don't care okay and rest of the places are zeros okay so this is the table we have formed now we have to mark f1 dot f2 so f1 dot f2 0 1 is 0 1 0 is 0 0 1 is 0 1 0 is 0 1 1 is 1 1 0 is 0 now anything multiplied by 0 will give 0 so doesn't matter whatever the value of don't care is answer will be 0 only 0 1 is 0 now see here this can have 0 or 1 as value if we take 0 answer will be 0 if we take 1 answer will be 1 so answer dependent on don't care here same as it is answer dependent on don't care 1 0 is 0 1 0 is 0 0 multiplied by anything will give 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 is 0 so this is what we have got for f1 dot f2 how many don't care condition 1 and 2 so with so the value of k is 2 for f1 dot f2 and answer is 2 to the power 2 which is 4 what about f1 plus f2 0 plus 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 1 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 don't care 0 so if it is 0 0 0 will be 0 if it is 1 then 1 0 is 1 so answer dependent on don't care 0 1 is 1 
now don't care one will give one so if it is zero zero one is zero one if it is one 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 will be one so in any th case answer will be one only similarly this will be one one zero is one one zero is one zero don't care so as this case zero don't care this one is also don't care zero zero is zero 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 is zero zero one is one how many don't care condition one and two so for here also k is two and answer will be two to power two which is four so in both the cases we have got four functions possible okay let's see another question the number of prime implicants essential prime implicants and redundant as prime implicants for given function we have to find for uh, prime number of prime implicants essential prime implicants and redundant prime implicants so first of all understand what is redundant prime implicant so the prime implicant which is covered by other essential prime implicants are redundant prime implicants so we, we shall see by it example don't worry so let us try to make the k map for the given function so we have a b here and c here 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so here 0 0 0 is 0 0 0 1 is 1 similarly 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay now where we have ones 2 5 6 7 these are the possible values of ones how many subcubes are possible here so we can make this one subcube and this one as subcube which cover all the ones now if you make one subcube like this this is also possible because this green subcube is not a subcube which is completely covered by someone else so how many prime implicants possible prime implicant possible are three how many essential prime implicants so this let's say this one is a this one is b and this one is c so a is having this one which is not covered by any other subcube so a is essential this one is only covered by this c subcube so this c is essential now c at b b this one is covered by a and b both this one is covered by b and c both so b cannot be essential so how many essential prime implicants two and redundant prime implicants we have to find so redundant prime implicants a prime implicant which is covered by other apis so if you see b this b one is covered by a which is essential prime implicant this one is covered by c which is also essential prime implicant so this b have all the ones which are covered by other prime essential prime implicant so b is redundant prime implicant how many redundant prime implicant are here one so three to one is the answer let's see one more question let's say we have a question in which a function of three variable is given having three five and six as true values if the minimized function is given this minimized function is given for this particular function and we have not given what are the don't care so you can write it like this also assume this this is blank so we have to find out what are the don't care conditions for this minimized function so it is very easy by using k map so let's say we are drawing the k map for this particular function we have a b and c here 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so what are the values covered 3 is covered 5 is covered 6 is covered so see how can we generate a if we have to generate a so we have to make a square a subcube we have to make a subcube like this so a can be generated by 1 and 1 so if we make 
this as a sub cube this as a sub cube then only we can generate a there is no other method by which we can generate a how do we know that so by making this sub cube c is changing b is changing what is not changing is a so 1 1 this is not changing so a is generated by this sub cube now how do we generate bc bc so b should not be changed so where we are not changing b so this is one this is one this is b not we are not using bar if you are seeing here also this is not changing but this is b bar not b so b is not changing here and we have to not change c also so one is c this is c bar this is c so in order to make bc this is the sub q which is possible so this is generating bc and this is generating a by this only we can generate this minimized function okay so if we have to make this sub cube we have to assume that here don't care and here don't care so answer is 4 comma 7 this 4 and 7 now you may ask me sir why we have not made made any uh, don't care here or here or here so let's say if you have made it don't care here here or here then by adding just this don't care you could have made this as a sub cube and this sub cube is not generating bc it is generating only b so c will not be available then so this is not possible if you have used this as don't cube or don't care so this sub cube of 8 is possible and is there is nothing but 1 so nothing common from here nothing common from here all the values can be made under one sub cube and it is nothing but one whatever is the input answer is one so that's why these are the only possible don't care which we can add in order to generate this minimized expression okay let's see one more question So see here the question is in a K map it was found out that essential prime implicants are covering all terms except two min terms. So let's say if we have a prime if we have a K map of three variables so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are the mini possible min terms and in output we have 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 so here let's say any two uh, min terms are any two min terms are not covered and all the other min terms are already covered by essential prime implicants in order to cover these two min terms these two min terms are in turn covered by three non essential prime implicants each so one min term is covered by three non essential implicants and another min term is covered by three non essential prime implicants then what is the minimum number of SOP expression? So I have told you that essential prime implicants must be written and whatever is left out, we can choose anything out of it. So for one min term we have to choose and another min term we have to choose. There are two min terms which are left out. So this is one min term and this is another min term. So for this one min term, we, how many non-essential prime implicants we have? Three and another for this min term also because each is written so for both the things we have each three non-essential this also we have three non-essential prime implicants okay now if we have let's say a b c here we have p q r let's say these three min term three non-essential prime implicants are a b c and for this min term we have p q r now i can choose a and I can club it with P or Q or R. Okay. Similarly, I can choose B and club it with P, Q or R. Similarly, for C, I can choose C and club it with P, Q or R. So, how many minimal number of expressions are possible? 3 into 3, which is 9. So, answer is 9 okay these type of questions may come in gate because now in gate we have numerical entry questions and they may not give you any option they may give, uh, give you this question in numerical entry question and you have to write the answer by virtual keyboard available there 
and the answer you have to write is 9 okay let's see another question so let's say this is the question given to us in a prime implicant chart a boolean expression is represented by these four variables column represent min terms so this 0 2 4 5 7 8 a or b are columns which represent min term so you know that a 0 can be represented as 0 0 0 0 in four variable and the order you should maintain so this is the order given in the function if it is not ex uh, explicitly given then always consider the order given inside the function so how do you write it w bar x bar y bar z bar so if it is let's say 1 so for 4 let's say taking 4 so how do you write 4 0 0 0 1 0 0 so this is w bar x y bar z bar if you do not follow the order then it may become wrong so you may write x w bar x x bar So if you do not follow the order, you may got it wrong. So if you have chosen X as first, so X bar, W, Y bar, Z bar. So these two are not same. So always remember the order is this, which is given. Now coming back to the question, we have to find out this P, Q, R and S by al along with A and B. So A and B are min terms, whereas P, Q, R, S are, are the expressions. Okay. So first of all, what we have to do is we have can make the K map for the same. So let us try to make the K map. Let's say this is the K map of four variables having W, X, Y, Z as variables. So now P is representing 0 and 4. So 0 and 4. So if P is representing only these two values. So a subcube of this is represented by P. What is this? So you can find out 0, 0 is common here. And from here we have common thing as W. So this is W bar, Y bar, Z bar. Always remember the order. So this P is nothing but this thing. This is P. Okay. Now let's see Q. What is Q? So Q is representing 0 and 8. So 0 and 8. So if Q is representing 0 and 8, then sub Q possible is this thing only. Okay. So this is Q. And Q can have expression like this. So what is common here? This 0, this 0 is common. And here 0, 0 is common. So this is X bar, Y bar, Z bar. Okay. Now coming to R. R is representing 4, 5, 4, 5 only. So 4 is already 1 and 5 we have to make. If R is representing this, then this is the sub cube possible. So what is this? R is equal to from here 0, 1 is common which is W bar X and here we have 0, 0 which is Y bar. So this is representing R. Now come to S. So this S is representing, this is 5, this is 5, this one is 7, so 5 is already 1, 7 is 1, we have made it and now we are not sure about what is are they, A and B. Now since this is a subcube of 4, size 4, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, size 4. So how many subcubes of size 4 are possible in which this thing is possible? So what, what thing is possible? This 5, 7, A and B are considered. So 5 and 7 must be included. So one possible thing is this. Let's say we have made this as a subcube. Now if we make this as a subcube, then A will be 1 and B will be 3. But this will not be the case because if you have made this as a subcube, then this as a implicant is not possible because then this larger group uh, subcube can be possible and this inner subcube is a part completely part of this larger subcube. So this green color subcube is not possible. 
what else can you make you could have made one sub cube like this like this you could have made this as a sub cube considering a as this and c as b as this this can be possible but if you have made this as sub cube then this inner sub cube which is this one this one was q sorry this one is r so this one was not possible because the larger sub cube is already covering the inner sub cube completely so this is not possible so what else option we have left with we are left with this option only so this only option we have which is covering 5 and 7 both so what is this this is s is equal to from here we are having 1 1 which is x and from here we are having 1 1 which is z so s is x z and what are the value of a and b so a is 13 and b is 15 or you can write at a as 15 and b as 13 anything is possible nothing no need to worry about it okay so since we are going into the in order increasing order so a should be 13 and b should be 15 if at all both the options are given in the question okay this is how we can solve if anything is not clear in this lecture i would suggest you to uh, rewind the lecture and go through that question again solving a question for more than one time will help you to get the clear idea and we shall see more topics in next lecture thank you